Today I'll be reviewing my Denver International Airport in 1 to 400 scale. I have been working super hard on it and have worked a lot on the new Concourse C, which we'll be showing off on this video. Enjoy. I'll be trying something new in this airport update. I have hidden a note card that has a special note on it. And if you comment what it says, I will be giving a shout out to everybody who does so in the next video. Starting off the airport update, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo in the Champ the Bronco livery. This aircraft will be heading out to Las Vegas, also known as Lost Wages. Stop it. Get some help. Following that, we have this Allegiant Airlines Airbus A319. This aircraft will be pushing back shortly and heading down to Asheville. Continuing on with our low cost carrier fun, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A321. This aircraft will be pushing back shortly and heading down to San Francisco, California. Many of you guys do remember American Airlines used to park their aircrafts over here. They have since moved to the Sea Concourse and soon Delta Airlines will take over these gates. And following that we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo. I always forget the name of the tail but this is some sort of bluebird tail and I'll be heading down to Dallas Fort Worth. Moving right along we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320. This aircraft is in the Griswold the Bear livery and it just arrived in from San Diego about 20 minutes ago. Moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have yet again another Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo. This aircraft is in the Colorado, the Bighorn Sheep livery, and it just arrived in from Tampa. Moving right along, we have a Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo. This aircraft is the newest one of mine. It is in the Poppy the Prairie Dog livery, and it just arrived in from Bentonville, Arkansas. And just pushing back out of the gate, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A220-100. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Los Angeles. And following that, we have another Delta aircraft. This is a Airbus A321. And this particular aircraft just arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. And moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A321neo. I believe this is a new aircraft and it'll be pushing back shortly and heading out to Detroit. And moving on to the next aircraft, this is an absolutely gorgeous Iceland Air 757 in the 80 year anniversary livery. This aircraft will be heading out to Reykjavik Keflavik in Iceland. And following that, we have this United Airlines 737 MAX 9, an absolutely gorgeous aircraft. This aircraft is pulling into the gate as it just arrived in from Cancun. Really quick, I want to tell you where I get all of my aircraft models from. I get them from the Midwest Model Store. They have hundreds of aircraft that you can check out. And if you use code MILEHIGHAVIATION when you check out your cart, I will give you 10% off your order and a shout out. Here are today's video shout outs. Thank you for your order. And moving right along, we have this JetBlue Airbus A320 aircraft this is in the high heart new york livery and it'll be pushing back shortly and departing for the flight out to boston and moving on to some bigger aircraft we have this british airways airbus okay i'm at a boeing 777 this aircraft will be pushing back shortly and heading down to london heathrow moving right along to this aero mexico aircraft this is a 737-800 in the corona beer livery this aircraft will be heading out to mexico city and just pushing back out of the gate, we have this Lufthansa Airbus A340-300. This aircraft is pushing back out of the gate and will be heading out to Frankfurt, Germany. And following that, we have this Air Canada Airbus A220-300. This aircraft is in the special retro aircraft livery and will be pushing back shortly and heading out to Montreal. And moving right along, we have this Cayman Airlines 737 MAX 8. This aircraft actually is coming back to Denver. They were gone for quite a while and now they are back and it'll be heading out to Georgetown. 
And moving on to the United Express regional gates at Concourse A, we have this United Express Embraer E175. Sircraft is in the old livery and is loading on the passengers and will be heading down to Tucson, which is going to be for Aiden on Instagram. And following that, we have this United Express Embraer E175. This time it's going to be in the new livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Eagle Vale, Colorado. And moving right along, we'll be moving on to the B concourse, which is currently housing all United aircrafts, as you can see. We will be starting off at the regional gates of the terminal, which is on the east side of the main terminal. We will be starting off with one of the nicest aircrafts ever built, which is the United Express CRJ-200. So craft will be pushing back shortly and heading out to Moab, Utah. Following that, we have a little bit of a better aircraft. This is a United Express CRJ-700 in the SkyWest livery. So craft will be pushing back shortly and heading out to Gunnison, Colorado. And moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this United Express Embraer E-145 in the old livery. I would love to see one in the new livery, and I did end up asking if there will be one, and I basically got told no. But this aircraft will be pushing back and heading down to Lincoln. Pushing back out of the gate, we have this United Express Embraer CRJ-700. Just a normal CRJ-700, not Embraer, but this aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Billings. Pulling into the gate, we have this United Express CRJ-200 in the new livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Fresno. And moving on to the other side of the terminal, there are three different sides to this terminal. We have the United Express CRJ-700. This aircraft just arrived in from Bentonville, Arkansas. And moving right along, we have this United Express Embraer E-170 in the old livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Sioux Falls. And finally, we have this United Express CRJ-200 in the old livery, currently loading on baggage, as you can see, and it'll be heading out to Midland. Starting off at the main terminal, we have this United Express Embraer E-175. So craft is currently loading on baggage, and it'll be heading out to St. Louis. And moving right along, we have this United 737 MAX 8. This aircraft will be pushing back shortly and heading out to San Diego, California. And following that, we have the Flying Pencil, which is the United Airlines 757-300 in the new livery. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Chicago ORD. Moving right along, we have this United Airlines 787-9 Dreamliner. This aircraft is loading on some nice Ferraris, and it just arrived into the gate from London. Moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this United Airlines 777-200. This aircraft just pulled into the gate from Maui, which is a flight I will be flying in less than a month. Moving along, we have this United 737-900. This aircraft is loading on baggage and will be departing soon for the flight out to Sacramento. And moving on to a special livery, we have a United Airlines Airbus A320. This aircraft is in the Stars and Bars livery and will be pushing back for the flight out to Tampa. I've recently been working on the backside of Concourse B and as you can see, it is now finished. Speaking of the other side, we have this United Airlines Airbus A319, also known as the Flying Cigar. This aircraft just arrived in from Jackson Hole. And following that, we have this United 737 MAX 9 aircraft currently getting catered. This aircraft just arrived in from Seattle. Moving right along, we have this United Airlines Airbus A320. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Phoenix, Arizona. And moving along to the final aircraft on this side, we have a United 737-800 in the new livery. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Boston. And following that, we have the United Airlines Her Art Here livery 757. In particular, this is the California one. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Kona. And following that, we have another United Airlines 757-200. This aircraft is in the new livery and will be pushing back and heading out to Lahui. And following that, we have this United Airlines 737-800 in the old livery. This aircraft just pulled into the gate as it arrived in from Los Angeles. And the moment you have been waiting for, we have been working on Concourse C at my Denver airport, and as you see, we've come a long way, so let's go over it. Starting us off at the C Concourse, we have this Southwest Airlines 737-800 split skimitar winglets. So craft will be pushing back shortly and heading out to Sacramento. Following that, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the old livery, currently loading on baggage, and it just arrived in from Las Vegas. 
Pushing back out of the gate, we have this Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8 in the Desert Gold livery. This aircraft is pushing back, as I mentioned, and it'll be heading out to Houston. Moving on from that, we have the Spirit Airlines Airbus A321 in the normal standard livery. This aircraft is loading on passengers and baggage, and it'll be heading out to Los Angeles. Moving on right along, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-800. This is in the Illinois 1 livery, one of their newest liveries. And this aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Oakland. And moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700. This aircraft just arrived in from Salt Lake City, Utah. Up next, we have the Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8 looking absolutely beautiful. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Houston IAH. And moving on from that, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-800 with these split scimitar winglets. This aircraft just arrived in from Nashville. And for the final aircraft at Concourse C, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the new livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Lubbock. That does conclude today's airport update of Denver International Airport. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.